We may still be in the middle of a pandemic, but Brent Wilsey says that it's still a great time to sell your home. Just watch out for those fees. He joins us now to give you some more tips on selling your home. And, you know, Brent, I have seen a few homes going up for sale, but there is kind of a trend as, uh, you know, it's different now. Who's selling your home now? Well, that is a trend, and I do want to mention that existing home sales were up 9.4%, 21% year over year. Price of a sky skyrocketed 15% year over year, and the big problem here is inventory is down 19%. We only have a 2.7 month supply, which is the lowest since they've been tracking these numbers since 1982. So this is a great time to be selling your home because you're in the driver's seat as a seller. But what you have to think about, and people get so excited, like, wow, I'm gonna get this great price for my home. They don't think about how to save other money. So what I tell people, look at negotiating on some of the closing costs, such as your appraisal fee. That is negotiable. Mm -hmm. You can negotiate on the title search. And what you have to realize is if the closing costs with a private company, there probably can be negotiated on. If they're taxes and recording fees, nope, you're not gonna get negotiated on that. So kind of focus on what you can focus on. And, and as I said, too, this is a seller's market. This is a time you can be a little bit more greedy. I don't mean, you know, try to raise your price 10, 15 percent, maybe boost up 5 percent because you are in the driver's seat. But what you also have to think of, too, is, is don't give away too much. And what I mean by that, because the, the, the buyer's going to come in, they're going to ask for this and that. You can say, no, if you don't want it, that's OK. Somebody else will do it. So you're really in the driver's seat not to have to give away, you know, this being fixed and the termite, uh, you know, tending the house. Say, no, we're not going to do that. So the other thing, too, I tell people, maybe this is a time that you should rent a while because I always hear people say, wow, I sold my house at a great price. What do they do? They go out and buy another higher priced house and pay a high price for that one. So the best thing to do is kind of look at if you can sell your house at this high price, rent and be patient. Yeah, those are good advice. And, and we have seen a trend. Is the traditional realtor, is that, uh, you know, it's shifting a little bit, right? It really is. The game is changing. We're seeing this used to be years ago, you know, 6% was the norm. But we have to realize how much houses have increased and the 6% just doesn't make sense anymore. So there are discount realtors out there. And, and you've got to really interview these people to make sure who you're getting. Some people are, are, are charging the full percent, uh, you know, through 3%. And they're not doing what they should be doing for it because it's such an easy market it's at a seller's market. So maybe it's time to look at somebody that's going to discount those fees. Like a well-known one out there is Redfin. Now, Redfin, mm -hmm. actually, uh, they, they have their fees are kind of complicated. It looks like 1%, but you got different things. Make sure you understand what they're really going to charge you. Another one that actually I used personally was Sutter Realty. And they sell it for 1% no matter what. And they were did a great job. And the other thing you can do here also is maybe do what they call FSO, FSBO for sale by owner. But you gotta really put some time into these because, and also too, you have to be people friendly. Yeah. I mean, you gotta talk to people, you gotta negotiate yourself. Very, very good ideas for people. Thank you so much, Brett. We'll see. You're welcome. All right.